This is very basic strip piecing. And what you do for strip piecing is you cut fabric, the width of the fabric bolt from selvage. This is a selvage on this side. And all the way over here is the other selvage. Same thing with this one. All the way over here is the other selvage. Fabric widths are going to vary by manufacturer and even sometimes within manufacturers. Sometimes the, um, the selvages are quite large. Sometimes uh, I like to pre-wash my fabric so it does shrink. So I always use um, the 40 inches of usable fabric when I do all my calculations for how many pieces I need. So these are cut three and a half inches wide, both of them. And when you strip piece, I like to take the selvage. This has a big selvage on both sides, this red, and the blue has a small selvage. It's a batik. And uh, I like to line up the selvages. So you're going to place them right sides together. And we're going to stitch on one side. We're going to start here and stitch all the way to the other side. And we want an accurate quarter of an inch. And also, as you're stitching, you're stitching this way. Don't pull the fabric from the back. Your needle is here stitching. Don't pull the fabric like that. Use, let the feed dogs do their work. The work of the feed dogs is to push, take the fabric and push it as it sews. Your job is to make sure the fabric edges are even with each other and that it's going in to get the quarter of an inch. I have a foot on my Janome that has a little uh, metal thing and I used to just really push the fabric up against it but I found that my seam allowance was way too big. Go right up next to your seam allowance guide, whatever guide you use, and just make sure your, your um, edges are straight and even and your seam allowance is, is a good quarter of an inch. Let the feed dogs do their work to take it. This is some, another example of a piece that has been sewn already and this is how different the lengths are. Here's the other side. So I like to match up one side of the selvage. And when you finish sewing, you're going to press the, the fabric. I generally press toward the dark. So when I take this after I've stitched it, I take it to the ironing board and then I just sort of open it up like this and then use my fingers to gently push it away because you don't want to take your iron and distort things like this. You want to make sure the fabric stays straight and even and this line stays straight and you want to let the, the heat of the iron do the job. Don't push and, and distort the fabric out of the way like this. Here are the strips I just sewed together and I pressed them toward the dark. And the next thing you need to do is check to make sure that this is an accurate size. We cut these both at three and a half inches. So if I took the three and a half inches plus the three and a half inches and then took out half an inch for the seam allowance, this should measure six and a half inches. So let's check it. I'm going to line it up on the 10 inch mark here so you can see it. So I'm at 10 inches here and I should be at 16 and a half over here. And I can see that I am at 16 and a half. So I'm very pleased with that. If for some reason you come out smaller or larger, check that the strips were cut accurately at three and a half inches and check that your seam allowance is an accurate quarter of an inch. And the last thing, check that you um, pressed it correctly. And what I mean by that is you press it up as good as you can, as much as you can this way. Sometimes I see that it's folded over like this and if it was pressed like that, then that makes this part smaller up here. And here's, you know, it looks like if I lift it up, then you can see where that crease was. So that's something else that makes your seam allowance go off. So make sure that you've pressed the fabric up um, as much as you can without distorting it. Now this is called a strip set because it's two strips, two or more strips pieced together. And if you were making a strip set that had more than two strips, I would suggest after each edition of each strip you press. 
sometimes you can add, you know, go ahead and just sew all the, the strips together and then take it to the ironing board and press each seam um, as, you know, at the same time, basically. But I suggest that you stitch a seam and press and then add the next one on here and then press. And if you're doing, say you're going to put four together, then you could do, if I were going to stitch these four together, I would stitch these two, press, and stitch these two, press, and then stitch these two together.